is Tony Scotty. I'm here with Larry Sai, one of the owners of uh, VDI. Uh, Larry, uh, you, you, you're responsible uh, mostly for all the training plus the logistics. Uh, could you just kind of run through uh, a normal, and I'm not too sure if there is such a thing as normal, but a normal day, time-wise, what you need to do uh, to just get the school ready for uh, the students by 8 o'clock? Well, normally starts about two days prior to a three-day program. Um, just the prep work, prep work alone, the logistics of vehicles ready, fueled, on site, um, everything from the water the students will need to the coffee that we give them. Um, batteries for equipment, everything's charged, ready to go, light sets ready. Um, so this week alone, it took me nearly 28 hours just to prep for a three-day program, myself so, and two others. So then it takes almost as long to prepare for the program as the program? Almost. Right. And, uh, and that, obviously, you have help doing that, but you still have to run it? Oh, yeah. Still have to guide people in the right direction. And... Um, Make sure they get it done. And uh, in your past life, you were a test driver at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Uh, did that help you when you decided to do and get into this line of work? Yeah, I had a better understanding than most of what vehicles were capable of and how they handle. So, yeah, I do believe it's helped me greatly in this career. Is and you drove almost uh, every type of vehicle there uh, there was. Is that correct? Oh, quite a few vehicles. With, uh, you know, many of the, the whether they had wheel or tracks that the government was bringing into the military system. Yes. And it, uh, uh, how does that testing cars translate over to uh, training students? In other words, uh, the knowledge you gained testing cars, did it help you when you had to train, get to training students and people? Yes, because I understood what a vehicle would do. Um, so by understanding what it would do when I was in control, I would know what the student would face at certain speeds or turns of the wheel, what would they would encounter. When you, uh, you do a lot of the overseas work, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what are the logistics like of running a program and some of the, and let me, let me just pick one. Uh, you guys ran a program in Nigeria. Uh, could you explain the first, the process, and then your experience? Well, the process is, um, normally starts off with the corporation or the client that we're working with, they normally find us a, a training site or they'll ask for our input, which we um, normally like them to do that. But you don't get to see the training site until you get there, is that correct? Sometimes um, we get some pictures. Pictures are deceiving though. And, but no, a lot of times it's um, our first look is when we're on the ground. Yeah. Um, the challenges, one of the best things, um, I don't have to worry about the vehicles because they're not our vehicles, um, so that's a little bit less of a burden on me, but it's normally the the training site itself that's a challenge. Um, other than that, we take everything with us that we need. Other than cones, cars, and a site, we carry it with us. Um, Nigeria was, was a, a special one. It was an active roadway, about 160 foot long by 35 foot wide. Um, it was absolutely a surprise when we stopped there and the guy said, this is where we'll be training. And it's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Larry, and it's not like you can say, oh, no, we can't do the school here. We, is that correct? <laughs> well, with the, with the price they paid to fly us to, to Africa and back, you're right. Um, you have to work with what you have. Um, it, if you say, no, we can't do it here, it'd probably be the first and last time that client ever called you. And... Um, wouldn't you say that that's kind of one of the advantages 
of uh, the VDI method of instruction is that we can adapt to those things. Oh, I mean, absolutely. That, yeah. Absolutely. Um, knowing the math, I mean, regardless whether it's a 60-foot slalom or a 25-foot slalom, you can still put the same loads on the vehicle. Um, you have to work with what you have. Sometimes um, it's a challenge, but as long as it's safe. Uh, and uh, you've also done training uh, in places like the UAE where you had to work through an interpreter. And some of our some of the VDI training points are rather technical. So can you explain what you think about that? Was it difficult? Uh, how did that work out? Well, it's what you have to do is take something very technical and simplify it as much as possible so somebody that doesn't have the background can translate it for you. It, um, it's pretty much keep it as simple as possible, but get your point through. It's a lot of pointy talky and draw pictures. Yeah. It seems to work. Seems to work. Good, good. Uh, I uh, I noticed that VDI uh, seems to have uh, SOPs for everything, and uh, that's that comes from you. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. And, and how do you put all that together? takes a long time. Um, I never really understood exactly how much that Joe and myself did until I had to put it on paper, and it took me three weeks. Um, you, know, you take for granted what you do when you do it yourself. Um, sometimes it's easier to do it yourself, but then again, your employees are kind of in the dark. Um, you're actually hurting them and hurting yourself by not allowing them to do it. So by putting it in SOPs, if there's ever a question, you know, they're used to coming to me and asking, I'll tell them, listen, go read the SOPs. That's why I took the time to write them. That and still, they have to read over it and over and over it, and before long, they're no longer coming and asking you. Um, they work things out on their own, and that's what we're looking to do. It expedites the process. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the other thing that uh, you're responsible for and you did was putting together the uh, week call it with the exercise book. Uh, you uh, put together all the uh, the charts and graphs. Uh, I haven't been doing this for a while, and I looked at that, I just said to myself, God, that must have been a monumental task. <laughs> so, uh, again, uh, could you explain as easily as you can for the listeners the process that we use to, to measure students' capabilities and the book that you put together to help the instructors do that? Well, it just took the stuff that was very technical and tried to break it down so it was easy for everybody to understand easily. Um, it took me months to do it and get it right. Um, we're still tweaking it as we go along. Things are constantly changing. Um, sometimes we come up with a little bit better way, so we'll... Um, will change things to meet our needs. Um, it seems to have simplified it and made it easier for everybody to understand. Um, like I said, it took months for us to, to get it right, and we're, we're still working at it.